This organic sausage is 90% pork with water and added herbs and spices. It's also what's called climate neutral, so it gets the emission-free stop climate change label. So do these bananas. The label was invented by Marco Langa and his colleagues at the agricultural and environmental technology company Agriteg. The seal states that the way the product was manufactured, transported and packaged was completely climate neutral. Climate neutral means that greenhouse gases produced by making a product are reduced as much as possible so as to ensure a neutral effect on global warming. Lange checks which products deserve the seal. It's almost impossible to avoid producing CO2 emissions altogether but these can be offset. The organic sausage manufacturer finances a wind power plant in India. Langa regularly shows manufacturers how to reduce carbon emissions. Today he's visiting a farm in Lower Saxony, checking up on power sources and calculating the amount of CO2 emissions produced in the farming process. He's paying particularly close attention to the piglet's heat lamps. You can see whether or not they're using innovative technology and lighting systems to reduce the amount of electricity used. You can work out exactly how much electricity each piglet uses, the ratio of power consumption to a kilo of meat, as it were. Animal feed is another factor. The grain used determines how much irrigation a farmer uses in growing them, and that in turn determines how often he drives his tractor. This organic farmer has a clear conscience. That's thanks to the decision to switch to organic farming. The organic farming system is the most ecologically friendly agricultural process that there is. But organic produce from local farms is not necessarily emission-free. Sometimes it's refrigerated to be fresh when out of season. Sometimes the consumer is better off buying a product from overseas. Could an apple from Argentina on sale here in Germany get your seal? Yes, it could. We don't have definitive tests, but I hope we can help, and there is a lot of room for improvement. But we can show that an apple from Argentina does not have to be more environmentally damaging than an apple that's been grown here locally in Germany. Entire companies can be approved as climate neutral. Lange is visiting the biggest organic wholesaler in the central German town of Göttingen to calculate the business's CO2 emissions. Packaging, the electricity used in the office and for the refrigerators are all part of the equation. As are the 140 employees' personal CO2 footprints. These 140 employees all live in and around Göttingen and they all get here either by car, bike or train. We regularly take the time to look at their preferred mode of transport and then we enter the results into our study. The company uses some 400,000 liters of diesel a year, which sends its CO2 emissions skyrocketing. The firm has to buy a lot of CO2 emission certificates to offset this, but the company knows it's worth it to get the environmentally friendly seal of approval. In this shop, no one is familiar with Lange's seal. These days, there are so many organic certificates, it's hard to keep up. Lange knows that consumers can easily lose track. I think this particular seal hits a nerve these days. Time will tell whether the consumers respond to a new label when there are already so many. This fish has just arrived. It doesn't need a label. The trout has excellent ecological credentials. It was caught in the village pond by a local fisherman.